Hi everyone, and welcome to the last week. If you cannot believe it, we've done 10 weeks. And I first want to thank you for your effort in the course and your support. I really have enjoyed teaching this class. It's been an enjoyable class because we've dealt with a lot of different concepts. And we went through a huge time period in the class as well. And I think you were able to take some important knowledge with you in terms of your future and how the economy has evolved and learned from its mistakes that we've seen. So let's click on the final exam here. For this week, the final exam is going to consist of 25 multiple choice questions. I'm sorry, 50 multiple choice questions. And in this, you're going to be looking at having two hours to complete it. And what I wanted to do was just go over some of the questions that you might see. You're going to have various true, false, and uh, multiple choice questions. And I won't be providing a study guide because I'm going to be going over this with you in the video. So some of the questions that you might see on the test are the following. And then we'll go through a couple of them. Now, look at question three. Population growth in the early 19th century was, due, was slow due to the lack of immigration. And immigration is one way that an economy is able to grow. So that's a key factor. Look at the American Revolution. American Revolution resulted in different changes to our behavior, property, freedom. Changes that resulted. Railroads. Railroads were very important to our economy. It was the engine for economic growth, and it was extremely important because we were able to create opportunities to transport goods much faster than through water. On the farm, highest labor value. Which one of these components had the highest labor value in terms of productivity and producing the most for an economy to be able to survive? When we look at the Civil War, we know it was a dispute over a lot of issues between the North and the South. And this dispute had many central themes. So look at those choices to figure out what would be the central themes in the suit. Now, question 19. Who does not want a tariff? A tariff is a tax on imported goods. When you look at a tariff, it's going to hurt consumers. And the reason why it's going to hurt consumers is tariffs are going to result in higher prices. And the reason why there's higher prices is they're trying to protect domestic industries. Question 21. Money serves as a medium of exchange, store value, and unit of account. All of those are very important components in the functions of money.
Now, differences in wage gap between U.S. and foreign-born born workers. All of those factors are going to have a very key component because all those factors are going to lead to difference in wages that existed. Question 43 looks at property rights. And if there's no enforcement of property rights, you'll notice that that is going to create a lot of challenges for an economy to be able to grow. So the existence of property rights is very important. Now, question 44. The decisions of today are going to have consequences that could lie in the future. One of those could be the role of government debt. Now, question 48, the trade-off between inflation and unemployment. The trade-off exists in the short run, because what this means, as the unemployment rate will decrease, people will have money, they're earning income, and then they will spend more, which will cause the inflation rate to increase. So you notice this is going to be an indirect relationship between those two factors. I'm not factors, I should say, but variables. And those are the questions that you could see on the test. And in those questions, make sure to focus on what you have previously learned, because those are the questions you're going to see on the test. And I wanted to review it this way for you and go over some questions that I think are important. If you have any questions on any of them, please let me know. But I look forward to your effort and make sure to get your, uh, make sure to submit your work on time so you can do well. But I wish you the best.